One of the nation's most notorious assassins, Sirhan Sirhan, is asking for parole right now. I'm Virginia Chow. I'm Jason Martinez. The hearing is underway in the South Bay. Sirhan Sirhan assassinated Robert F. Kennedy back in 1968. Yeah, let's take you live to Donovan State Prison where 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is standing by. He's waiting for this decision. Steve? The uh, parole hearing began at 8.30 this morning, deep within the uh, confines of Donovan State Prison here. This is the first of his parole hearings at this location. He was transferred here about two years ago. He had been at a number of others. 47, 48 years after the assassination back in 68 during the presidential campaign. Today, the uh, parole board is listening to several and also will listen to several witnesses as they... Uh, the uh, panel whether to uh, release him or not. There are several possibilities if he is released at his last parole. He had said he would like to go to Palestine or any other Arab country that would take him. He uh, also has a brother living in Pasadena, however, so that is certainly a possibility. He's not necessarily to be deported if he were to be granted uh, parole. Now, also, uh, they're talking about the specifics of the crime. They are not retrying the case, but they are talking about the, uh, the um, assassination of Senator Robert F. Kennedy. This was back in 68, the presidential primary. It was five years after his brother had been assassinated, and Bobby Kennedy was on a campaign trail, had just won the California Democratic primary, and said, it's on to Chicago and let's win there. That's where the Democratic bet is to be, but he was never to make it because of his assassination that day. Now, also in the mix today is one of the other people who was shot. There were five other people who were gunned down that day when uh, Bobby Kennedy was assassinated. One of them is Paul Schrade, whom we met last night on 10 News at 11 for the first time. He is trying to get Sirhan to be paroled because he is not convinced that he's the one who pulled the trigger. We'll go more deeply into his thoughts on that at 11.30. Live at Donovan State Prison, CP Arena, 10 News. Uh, Steve, how long is today's hearing process expected to take? That's a really good question because they won't, they won't speculate. The last one went four hours and five minutes. This one may be a little different because we do have Schrade's testimony where he claims he has new evidence. So we will uh, stay with it, of course, and we will be bringing you information as soon as it's done. But we can get nothing from out of that room until the uh, hearing is finished and the decision is made.